The following trailer is rated S for spoilers. We asked you to vote for the 2017 movies you wanted us to make an honest trailer for. Here's your number two choice. Today's episode is brought to you by TurboTax. There's nothing to be afraid of. Forget serial killers, demons, and evil clowns, because a more terrifying, inescapable, unstoppable force is coming to get you. Rich white people. Get out. Catch the film that proved once again that diversity, quality, and making buttloads of money aren't mutually exclusive. That was the most profitable film of the year, not only because everyone bought a ticket, but because it was so low budget they had to plug the Windows phone. Wait, they make Windows phones? And it's gone. Meet Chris, master of deflecting awkward conversations. If you really pushed your body, it'd be a f***ing beast. Cool. Black is in fashion. He's never treated any of my boyfriends that way. Mm -hmm. And then my dad was a, my man, my man. Yep. Who's so polite, he'll stick around his girlfriend's creepy murder house, even when people are literally screaming, get out, in his face. Get out! Get out! Get the out of here! It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. Forget about it. Luckily, there's Rod, one of the best movie friends of all time. Watch as the kind of guy who yells at the screen during a horror movie. She is lying like a mother gets a chance to shine by actually being inside the horror movie. I mean, I told you not to go in that house. Thank God for Rod, because the alternate ending is super realistic. I mean, super depressing. Same difference. Enjoy deliciously cruel casting that makes villains out of white people's favorite white people, turning indie darlings, West Wing alums, and girls' girls into broad caricatures of society's worst impressions of them. And if that makes you upset, now you have some inkling of how black people feel when they watch almost every other horror movie. Brothers don't last long in situations like this. Seriously, black people's main roles in horror is to either die first or comment on how often they die first. The black guy always dies first. Revisit all the little details you didn't see the first time, like Rose stands up to the cops just so they don't leave a paper trail. You don't have to give him your ID because you haven't done anything wrong. The old people drive black cars to symbolize how they're also driving black bodies, and their victims are always wearing hats or wigs to cover up the scars from their surgery. But then try to ignore little details that don't add up, like brains age as fast as bodies, so a transplant wouldn't add that many years. No one ever notices all these guys went missing after dating the same girl. And why does she eat Fruit Loops separate from the milk? That's not a thing white people do, is it? Is it? So gather round for a film that flips your preconceived notions on its head. That progressives can be racist too. The TSA can be useful once in a while. I'm T.S. M***ing A. And getting into an interracial relationship is a huge mistake because you can't trust these white girls. Sorry, been listening a lot of Lemonade? Damn Beckys are everywhere. Starring Everybody Hates Chris Always Bring Black Up The Lost Kardashian Ben Carson Keener, 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 stir some tea Sometimes your words just hypnotize me The White Wing Mumford's Son And an evocative symbol of the marginalization of black people in America I mean, black hole, son? The Stepford Whites I'm just glad this movie did well, so I finally know who's key and who's peel. I swear, it's not a race thing. The show is just key and peel. They never said which one was which. Seriously, I'm not a racist. In fact, I would have voted for Obama a third time if I- I would have voted for Obama for a third term if I could. Oh no. This episode was brought to you by TurboTax. There's nothing to be afraid of. Do you know the way? Godzilla and God S. T on me. Smoldering intensity. Very cool. Very cool. Open the Halbay Doors pod. <laughs>